In this lecture, we'll study about superheterodyne receiver. As we have already studied in the basic communication block diagram, the receiver is used to pick up the signals transmitted and it will demodulate to get back the original signal. The superheterodyne receiver is a special type of receiver that works with radio frequencies. It mixes the frequencies with incoming signals to get intermediate frequency. This intermediate frequency is then demodulated to get back the original signal. This is the basic block diagram of a superheterodyne receiver. The antenna will pick up the incoming signals. The RF amplifier, also called as the radio frequency amplifier, will amplify the incoming signal. This is then mixed with the frequencies generated by a local oscillator. The local oscillator produces signal of frequency F0. The mixer mixes the signal coming from the RF amplifier called as Fi and the mixer will generate four frequencies F0, Fi, F0 plus Fi and F0 minus Fi out of which only F0 minus Fi is selected and that is given to the IF amplifier. F0 minus Fi is made standard equal to 455 kHz in all the superheterodyne receivers worldwide. So this frequency is called as intermediate frequency. This frequency is then amplified and then passed on to a demodulator. Since we are already aware of the local oscillator frequency F0 and the intermediate frequency Fi, it is easier for us to demodulate the original signal from these two signals. This is then passed over to the power amplifier which will boost the current so as to drive the loudspeaker. The loudspeaker converts the electrical signal to sound waves. The RF amplifier the mixer and the local oscillator are gang tuned so that they work together in synchronism. This is the summary of the superheterodyne receiver. The most important factor in this is 455 kilohertz which is the intermediate frequency. These are the advantages of a superheterodyne receiver. It has high sensitivity high selectivity and has better adjacent channel rejection that is it can concentrate on the channel that has to be extracted.